sweet I know. Oh, he sweet I know. Dark clouds may rise and the storm and the wind may blow, but I'll tell the world wherever I go that I have found a savior and he sweet I know. Ah. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. I am back, I am back. The first thing I want to do is I want to acknowledge that song because um, it's one of my favorite songs. A lot of y'all know that I have, my mom is um, suffering from uh, dementia, dementia. And um, one of the highlights is that she sings everything. Everything that she's ever heard, everything, and that is what makes her day. So usually when I uh, go and sing to her, um, she uh, it's, it's just really a sight to behold. So that was one of the songs that she began to sing, and she wanted me to sing it. And so we towed that thing up. <laughs> me and my mama towed that thing down. He sweet I know. Those are all the songs my mama taught me. He sweet I know. <laughs> the dark clouds may rise and the storm and the wind may blow. But I'll tell the world wherever I go that I have found a savior and he's sweet I know a lot of y'all know nothing about that but good morning good afternoon good evening family welcome 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 to the mental house with me your host Khadija I like to do uh, informative content and y'all know that sometimes I go to the to the uh, current, I mean, the uh, the media stories, but I, I really like to bring informative information, news that you can use. And this one I thought was a real, um, it's a sick, uh, and I know it's real, because it's, it's going to, I'm going to talk about a, a doctor that I work with named Dr. Law. Well, I didn't work with him, I, he was a client. But this story is about a dental hygienist. She reveals small details that will prove if your nail salon is really using clean tubes. A lot of y'all don't know that that is um, a lot of causes of a lot of sickness, internal sicknesses, um, people not using clean apparatus on your body and using the uh, same thing on different body, different bodies. She issues a warning about the dangers of unsanitary instruments. Lord, Lord, Lord. You might say, what? Well, you know how many of y'all spend y'all damn money up in the nail salon. And um, it's real important that y'all take this information with you. Jessica Marie, who was a dental hygienist based in the U.S., revealed her hack when she when it comes to figuring out if a nail tech uh, are using clean instruments during manicures. So, so I'm going to teach you guys how to call them out. Okay? This is what she says now. Now, this ain't come from me. This came from her. And this, and this is what she told her 11,000 um, followers, I guess. Jessica said, this handy trick will help people avoid getting toenail fungus when getting a pedicure. Because um, that's where a lot of this fungus and stuff is coming from. The nail people get pissed at me when I call them out on this every time Jessica announced. Because I work in the health industry and you're definitely not going to use some dirty instruments that you just use on somebody else's toes and then use them on mine. Uh, the self-proclaimed 
germaphobe declare. I let them know. The joke's on you, honey. I know exactly what you're doing, and it's not going to work. Jessica warned nail techs as both manicures and hygienists use the same disinfecting pouches to sterilize their tools. Jessica explained that if you were visiting a salon, it's important to look out for a red dot. Hear me? A red dot in the upper right corner of the clear package, the nail of the nail uh, tools, like cuticle clippers, which um, uh, were kept in, which meant that the instruments were actually still dirty from a prior appointment. Did you hear me? In the video, Jessica shows her followers an instrument inside of a clear package and said a lot of people think that if it's in this, it looks like they sterilized it, right? But they are completely, completely wrong. Black means clean. Red means dirty. Jessica told her flowers, advising them to run as fast as you can if you see the red. Get this video out because I know that a lot of nail surround, uh, salons around me are not the only ones doing it. Um, Jessica added that she wanted to see their sterilizing machine. Commenters were quick to weigh in on their own tips guaranteeing their man man manicures were sanitary as well as explaining that not all nail salons use the same technique and packaging. So, a fellow dental hygienist agreed used to work in the dental field and can confirm that sterilization turns the dots black when clean, warning people to be safe when visiting nail salons. Many women brought their own tools when they went to the appointments and others learned how to do their own nail home at home to avoid getting fungus altogether. Um, one asked, what about the sterilized boxes they use? To which one commenter uh, replied that it sounds like people's toenails and skin flakes are still on them, just as if it's just tossed in the box. <laughs> Not for me having in six infections in my ring finger and almost getting it amputated from the dip powder called they cross share the powder and the nail file. The commenter said, <clears throat> I know it to be true. Now, you know that's just plain nasty because they make enough money that they can have clean instruments. Y'all know this. Y'all give them enough money that they can do whatever they need to do. Okay? To keep their customers safe. Some people just said, look, I started doing my own nails at home to avoid going to the salon. I quit going. It's just not worth the risk. Others joked that they could see the nail techs raising their prices to guarantee, to guarantee sterilized tools. With one woman joking, I can just hear, oh, you want to use sterilized utensils? No problem. That'll be an extra $5. What in Sam's tarnation? So, what I'm trying to say is, y'all, be careful out there. Let me tell you a story about Dr. Law. <laughs> Dr. Law has since been deported back to his native of Hong Kong. He was a doctor, a dentist. And one time I went into his office to have him sign some paperwork. Um, and... You know, it happened so fast, I couldn't, you know, you know how something happens so fast, you can't get your mind right. So when I walked in and I, you know, I was waiting on him, he had another, uh, he had two, two patients, actually. One was in one room that he was working on, or another person was working on, and there was another person sitting in the second office. When I went in there, the first thing Dr. Law did, when he called me in there, is he handed me the tray. And I'm like, what the? He, hold us, hold us, hold us. And I, I was like, what? 
And at that time, I, you know, instead of just saying, hey, no, 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 no. I, I took it from him because he pretty much shoved it on me. And when I saw what this dude was doing, I was like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Uh-uh, uh-uh. And so I put the um, tray down on this, the uh, table that he had in there. And I was like, because I'm not going to be no parts of this. He just took the same damn instruments that he used on the um, other woman's mouth. He done brought in here and told me to hold it. Where's your hygienist? What? What? How do I get in it? <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh My point being, Dr. Law got deported for that reason. Um, he was using unsanitary instruments. He was doing all kinds of crazy stuff. He, it, it, the 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 um, the board, I guess, decided that he needed to be deported. He had had so many sanctions and so many problems. So Dr. Law had to go back to Hong Kong. I made more money with Dr. Law than I made with anybody. <laughs> but I did not like, and I do know, that he was guilty of using unsanitary instruments. I didn't have nothing to do with it. That one time I held the tray was enough for me. And that's a true story. Now what about y'all? Are y'all uh, enthusiastic about uh, checking and calling out your high, your uh, nail techs or your um, hygienists when you see them using? Because like they said, they use the same instrument. Are you in a position to call them out? Will you? You better be because your very mouth and nails could depend on it. What say you? If you like what you hear, please subscribe and share the channel. And I'll see you in the next one, baby.